Ooh. <laughs> okay. Saw that bounce out of the corner of my eyes. <laughs> and just went down. This is a better one. Yeah, he's a little harder to move. River rats were a uh, pretty high class today. Dog's got a dog bed. We got some primo fresh bait. Skip did throw up on my leg. He, he ate a shad and apparently it didn't agree with him very much, but you know, those things happen. We're out on the water and current's rolling and hopefully the fish are eating. So let's go. Yeah, we got a pile of rain. Um, the water level shot up, but so did the water temp. So I'm hoping that's a good thing. If we don't catch them, it, it ain't the bait's fault. We're just not where they're at. We do have a little bit of a wind. We also have a big bass tournament. I bet, I don't know. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different bass boats. Eight. So yeah, that's also something a little different. There's a big tree pile over here. I'm gonna throw some baits at it. And give it a little bit of time. And it'd be really sweet to pull a flathead out of it. We do have a guest appearance on the boat. Woody, Woody. He's wore out already. Gonna spread them out around that tree. Hope one comes out of it. It's gotta be pretty close. See how many of these I snag up considering how much we're bouncing around between the wind, the current, the waves, and the boat wakes. Okay, there's that flapper. There's actually a couple different trees down there. Quite a bit shallower. That one's a little more on the ledge. There's a lot of bait up there, so I'll toss one up there. Not every time, but lots of times where there's there's food, there's predators. Uh, no, that guy's kind of close. <laughs> All right. At least he didn't run me over. It's a little thing, you know, like not getting ran over. You gotta appreciate those. I love it when I don't get ran over. All right, dogs, hopefully you're lucky. You're not even sitting on your dog bed. Like it is officially croc weather. Especially now that the cast netting is done. If it's croc weather, it's surely flathead weather. We will see. Oh, we got one going up on the ledge. Is he running to the side or is he just small? He's persistent. Hopefully he's just dragging it to the side. That's that sinker bounce and he's about to just bury it. But he's probably just small. Pull her down there, little bud. Now he's acting a little more flathead-like. I got a circle hook, so there's not really a whole lot I can do. And he's carried it a long ways. <sighs> That's crazy. He's carried it like 30 feet. Well, probably more than that. 80 feet? Every time I've missed a flathead, it's because I get impatient. And as you can see, it's easy to get impatient. Gonna nibble on that one too. 
Very similar. He might actually have it for sure. All right, can I steer him away from the other one? And let the flathead make up his mind? Ooh, I didn't think you were that big, but you still might not be, but you got some fight in you. First spot, cool. Thinking shallower. This feels very blue-like. Actually, I have no idea. You bit it very blue-like, though. Wonder if that other fish is still on there. Yep, he is. Yeah, this is gonna be a potential cluster. This ain't a bad one. Not that that one ain't bad either. About to be doubled up on goodens. I hope. Hopefully that one gets the hook. Oh, that is a flathead. Sweet. So we got one flathead. Must have came out of that tree. I think we got another one biting too. You never know. This could be a two pounder or a 72 pounder. We'll get him in here and we'll let that guy mess around with us some more. Yeah, they fight so hard. Yeah, it's my favorite right there. Flyheads live in trees. No surprise there. That's a nice one. Is he gonna bury it behind me? I don't know. I'm glad I got this one. Even if he don't make up his mind, I I got one. And then, <laughs> they're my favorite. Let's get you back, bud. And then uh, see what's going on on this one over here. Okay, bye. See ya. Are you going to pull it down? Once again, getting impatient. He's thinking about it. Is that all you got, though? I mean, he's just, there we go. He dipped her. Well, hopefully he's on there. Yeah, I don't think he's real big. Not yet. He's, I can move him pretty easy, but I'm gonna try to you know, not horse him too much because lots of times these are the ones that aren't hooked so great. Hey, little flathead. My buddies. Yep. Ooh, he's hooked weird. A little eater sized one. You are safe today. Just because I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> How about that? Pretty much doubled up on flatheads. <laughs> water got came up, water got warm, and my ugly friends started eating. I felt, definitely felt like I was talking like a fishing television host there. I kind of apologize for that. But I am happy my ugly buddy showed up. Okay, buddy. Okay, I think it's lunchtime. Yes, I will share some jerky with you boys. Oh, you're very interested, huh? Go work for it. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Okay. Don't throw that up on me, please. Woody, lay down. Is that all? You, is that your best lay down in the chair? I'll allow it. A few more of them ugly ones be all right by me. 
Especially if they're bigger and uglier. I about dropped that beef stick. It would have been gone in an instant. This started off pretty fast and furious, but uh, slowed down rather quickly. We, uh, I think I'm gonna go look for another tree. I am all in on the flathead right now. This is very much a flathead only spot. And I say that I'll probably get the blue. But uh, the last spot I caught one, I just forgot how to hit a button apparently because I didn't turn the camera on. But he was a, a fat little feisty fellow and I appreciated him. Just a little bit bigger than what I'd want to eat, but I'm glad he decided to play the game. It is bouncy out here today. Oh! No! He just popped off. Oh, he ran me through a tree. That was a flathead for sure. God dang it. He had that rod absolutely folded. Now I'm snagged. Wonder why he missed the hook. I don't think he's gonna lay it over much better than that. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be another one in there. I don't know. That's cool though. Got the dogs awake. You gonna do it? Maybe. Do it. He said, no, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, be like that. Well, the good news is with this bass tournament, I got a late start, so I think they're over at like, they gotta be back at like 3, 3.30. So we should have the lake pretty much to ourselves after that, which should be pretty cool. Man, I wish I would've got that fish. Nothing but dink taps other than that. Just a steady line of bass boats heading back to weigh-ins. Hopefully things will glass up a little bit more. I mean, it would have been rough either way, or rough-ish with the upstream wind. But yeah, it'll be better now that them bass boats are thinning out. It'd be even better if one of these rods had taken nosedive. It was hot and heavy right off the bat. And she slowed down, but the stuff I'm fishing isn't as good as the stuff I started fishing. At least from a habitat standpoint. Pretty optimistic about this spot up here though. We'll see. You got the mustard? Yeah, it appears so. You chewed on it quite a bit, though. I wonder why you bounced it so much. And then pulled her down solid. Started like a little fish, now feels like a pretty solid fish. Well, we might have another one going. A little blue here. Got that one getting messed with over there. Oh, 
Never mind, it's a giant mat of grass floating into the line. Looks a lot like a nibble slash possibly a flathead. All right, come here, buddy. Oh, wow. He's got a big old bite mark on him. Yeah, I don't know. The lighting isn't great, so it'll probably be tough to see much, but yeah, he's got bite marks right across his side, like something big, real big, T-boned him and was toting him around. It'd be cool if whatever did that is is here and was is gonna bite. We will see. But give it another 10-15 minutes to find out anyway. Okay. Saw that bounce out of the corner of my eyes <laughs> and just went down. This is a better one. Yeah, he's a little harder to move. Fast boats, waves, wind, current, grass. At least they're biting good. <laughs> Them tough days when you deal with all this stuff. Makes it. I don't know, I feel twice as tough. I don't remember casting it this far, but apparently I did. Where are you? You didn't hit it like a flathead. Kind of fighting like one a little bit. You are not. You are the fork tail variety, but a nice one. Uh, I don't know if we'll need to net him. Just grippy him. Get over here. Got him. Yep. Set you down there for the moment. This fish is going to be uh, approaching that dirty 30 mark. He uh, smacked it like a good one because he's a good one. Makes sense. This spot doesn't suck. Never fished here before. Might do it again someday. <laughs> Drift sock. Pretty sure these bass boats got to be back by 3:30. It is 3:26. You boys cutting it come close. I don't know if you're even gonna make it. These ones might, but two way back there. think they, they're gonna make it happen you know as far as the bass boats go it just hit me that uh, they're gonna be driving back in waves because they launched in waves so we're just gonna have a steady stream of bass boats <laughs> zipping by for probably I don't know who knows how long whatever I think it's like a hundred grand to win this one. Or 50. Oh, that's a lot. Got one messing with it. I think. Is he gonna get serious? It's hard to tell when you have a light bite when you're bobbing around like this. 
Plus when you got a bunch of junk floating down the river too. I was reeling lines in and one went down. Wow, he's pretty darn decent. Like really darn decent. And he's, I only have one other line left in the water and he's swimming towards it. Okay, I think he's clear of that other line. He's got this dangler here that might prove problematic. Okay, we'll just get that out of the way too. Yeah, he don't like to move very much. <laughs> about couldn't like I don't about didn't believe it like oh he might be in that other line and I got that drift sock out there somewhere it sank down the yeah, guys reeling lines in and just kind of staring off into the sun and lo and behold one rod just folds in half Yeah, this is a nice fish. Even pulled a little drag. Just saying something, because I keep them pretty stout. Come on over here, buddy. Giving this bass boat a show. <laughs> Of a fish. I think I will get the net ready. Okay, where you at, dude? Ooh, big bubbles. Big, big. Oh, really big. Wow, big dark one. Wow, he's, yeah, he's really big. Yep, now he's getting really mad. It's terrible videography, right in the sun. Oh, wow, he's really big. <clears throat> Come here. Get over here. Come on. Gosh, his head is giant. Okay, I guess I could extend that net for Stay off the boat. If this looks like a cluster, it's because it is. Nice five gallon bucket mouth in me. I need him to swim over here, is what I need to do. Need him to do. Yes, freaking. God, come on. I'm losing my composure. Yeah, he is very beat. Don't know how well he's hooked at this exact moment. Yes. Swim down. Keep him off of the boat. And then pop up right here. Oh, wow. A lot of power. Big, 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 big fish. Okay. <clears throat> like, way big. Why is this net like such a pain to deal with at this moment? Usually I like it a lot because right, I'm trying to keep 70 or 80 pound fish off the boat. Get over here. Wow, my net is not big enough. Okay, 
he's in it. Oh, it's the other line. Why, why is everything so awkward and difficult? It's because I don't know if the other line is snagged or what. Wow. We got him, though. Holy crap. When you're least expecting it. Jesus. How big are you? <laughs> Uh, he's one of my biggest ever. I will confidently say that. That's so funny. He hit as I was pulling lines in, and uh, he wasn't hooked. He's hooked pretty decent. But there was only one line to tangle, and he tangled it. Wow, what a fish. I don't even want to say how big I think he is. I just promise she's real big. Skip, you don't even care. Let's see what she says. Lots and lots and lots. Try that again. <sighs> call him, call him 81. <laughs> Pork chop. Wow. It's a big kid fish. One where you better have a strong back. <laughs> yep, that's just one pound off my biggest ever right there. Man, what a fish. <laughs> just getting ready to leave. Glad I uh, waited 30 extra seconds. Wow. Pretty one. Big dark bruiser, old fish, and we'll put him back and hopefully see him when he's a hundo. All right, buddy. Well, hard on the old back. Okay. Bruiser. All right, buddy, you about ready to roll? Oh, yeah. Let me get them grips off you. Okay, you can go. About took my hand with him. <laughs> oh, man. Catfish are neat. <laughs> Yep. Oh, stretch it out. Yeah, I know. Sorry for waking you up. Oh, rough day eating shad and throwing them up and stuff. Yeah, buddy. That was a, a real primetime player. Got plenty of slime on my camera. Looks like uh, the glazed donut GoPro. We got time for one more spot at least. Oh, the old back is a little tight after that. If I ever get really, really good at catfish and catch fish like that all the time, I might put a weightlifting belt in the boat. Let's go, boys. You're good luck. Might steal you more often. I didn't really steal him. Ella's out of town, so he's hopping on the boat. I took him off the couch, his favorite place to be. Probably the last spot I'm out of time for. Still have errands to run yet today. The bass boats just keep coming. It's 
kind of amazing, really. Yep. That's another dandy. I think. He's freaking out. But he was ripping some drag. Yeah. He's easier. Well, I think he's easier to move than the last one. He just freaking out down there. He bounced it a handful of times like he wasn't even that big. Skip and Woody were rolling around next to me. Yeah, he's coming. He's a nice fish. I'm happy he bit. I wonder if he was one of the ones that I saw on the fish finder. Be about the right spot. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, another nice one. You're a pipsqueak compared to the last one, but you're pretty nice. Yeah. What a way to end the day with another nice one. Come here, buddy. I just grippy him. I should net him after that last one. I, I think I need to work on my netting skills, but. Oh, he's so fat. Like amazingly fat. Gotcha. Are you gonna get another one? I guess, nope, it's in a mat of junk. All right, another porky pig right there. Dripping water on Skip. <laughs> yeah, what a way to end the evening. One last spot, one last fish, and it's a nice one. Yeah. Well, Skip just peed on my rain jacket. I don't even think he's uh, embarrassed or anything by it. I suppose I need to raise him better, but hope you enjoyed that. That was kind of crazy. It was it was a good day of fishing, and one bite turned it into an amazing day of fishing. And that's one cool thing about catfishing just fishing in general, but I feel like it plays out. It's a little more exaggerated in catfish just because they get really big. Oh, that was cool. But if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully I have more of that type of stuff coming. Uh, either way, thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.